Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. It's time to go save- Ah oh, shoot, oh shoot, oh, shoot. Ah! Save ourselves! Excuse me! I have to go save E-103, pardon me. So let's just glide across the bridge this time and, you know, kind of not get- You know, try not to fall off the bridge. That kind of hurt a little bit when I fell. So let's start the stage for real. I got hit by a chameleon, that was pretty nice. And we're going down the slope, collecting rings, because for some reason, robots get the same powers from rings as real life creatures do. Let me press the bubble. And it's up ahead, let's go and find it! Woo! We must go save him! And by save him, I mean blow him up. Oh, poopers! Why do I keep falling off into the abyss? Ah! Start shooting things ahead of time, Gamma. Thank you. Ah, why did I? Why did I shoot that critter? That's the thing that blows up the bridges. I'm just trying to kill myself all over the place, evidently. Anyway, in order to save your brethren, I don't know why this makes no sense to me whatsoever. You have to kill them. But just why? Seriously, why? It makes no sense. But just lock onto him and shoot him while dodging his missiles. He's a little more tricky than Beta was, uh, uh, because of that he's got that little hover thing, yeah, that jetpack thing, whatever you want to call it, and so he he's also goes into the air, and he also shoots those same missiles, but that doesn't make him any harder, really, because, you're, because your laser just locks right onto him with no problem whatsoever. Yeah, that was really the whole stage. Gamma's uh, stages go by really, really quickly. Um, they're like really... Well, I, I, I was going to say watered-down versions, but they're like shortened versions of the regular stages. They're kind of... They're similar to like Tails' shortened versions in a way, you could say. But they're in different areas than Tails' stages. I, I guess that's the best way to explain it to you. And now we're going over to that... Why did I fall down there? That was so stupid. All I wanted to do was go forward here. And yes, that was the waterfall area, by the way. And now we're going up these rocks, if we can. Because as I said before, these rocks are kind of glitchy sometimes. And it worked out. That's okay. So we're going up here. And whee! Now I forgot where we're supposed to go next. Is it Red, Mar Red Mountain? I'm pretty sure it's Red Mountain. So let's just go over there and see what's up. I know I'm supposed to go to Red Mountain with uh, with Gamma here eventually. And mode change, please. And he's not going to mode change, is he? Oh, there we go. Now just lock on to the monkey and blow him up, and you can go into Red Mountain. This is stage four. Let's get this started. Let's go kill another one of our brothers. Yay! It's E-104. Yeah, to blow up those walls, just lock onto the stuff, just like the last stage. Pretty easy stuff. Yeah, just... You basically want to, whenever you're playing as Gamma, keep pressing that laser button. You know, the B button to lock onto things ahead of time. Uh, it saves you a lot of health, really. Just trust me on that, because... Well, unless there's no enemies like there would be over here and stuff like that. But that was just kind of like a personal knowledge because I've played these stages so many times. And, uh, we Now we're inside the rocky lava mountains part area. And I can just jump right over that wall, hit the checkpoint, and kill monkeys all over the place. Make sure you get through the stage as fast as you can. I, as I said before, these are time stages, or I should say they're based on time. Because of, uh, you gotta increase your time by killing enemies and stuff like that. So, uh, that's another reason why you should keep your laser going at all times. And don't let it, like, fizzle out either, because that's kind of, like, wasted, uh, in, a, in my opinion. Like, because you could be using that to save, or give yourself some time, so to speak. And I guess you could say save time as well. Because, uh, that does... Inter oh, by the way, this is kind of cool. You're actually, instead of these things following, falling on their own, you have to knock them over by shooting at those hit things. And, uh, as I was saying, you, you save time by killing the enemies because they don't get in your way. And here's the next boss, which is another one of your bros. E-104. So let's get this started. 
And, uh, yeah, I already hit him. That was kind of sad, so... And, yeah, I hit him again. Oh, yes, you can lock onto those missiles, in case you didn't notice that. And the camera's probably going to glow in this fight because of how dark it is, but I guess that's okay. You can see what's going on. Uh, you, yeah, as I was saying, you can lock onto the missiles to blow them up before they hit you. That's another way to defeat these guys easily. And that is the end of the stage. E-104 Epsilon. Rescue complete. So I guess Epsilon is his tag, and yeah, yeah, whatever. I should say his, uh, um, how, I, I, I don't know, I can't think of the, the, the word right now. I'll just skip it. I'll just say E-104. <laughs> and we're back out into the Mystic Ruins Adventure feel, as, you know, as when we get past this, this guy's loading screen here. And... E-103 Delta. E-104 Epsilon. Rescue mission accomplished. Yes, that, you really rescued them by blowing them up. E-105 Zeta. E-101 Beta. Location unknown. I'm working on it. I guess, but maybe, maybe what he means by rescuing them is... Like, because they're still under the control of Eggman, he doesn't want that to happen, so he'd rather have them dead. Then, uh, you know, following Eggman's orders. Maybe that's what okay. E-102 means by that. I never understood that myself, what he means by rescuing, but because, you know, he blows them up and stuff, but th that's the only thing that I could possibly think of to make sense of this. Uh, so, or, or maybe it's just because he's a robot and he doesn't make sense because he doesn't know better. I don't know. But he, he evidently knew enough to, like, oh, what's the bubble say? Egg Carrier Crush Sites. Oh, that means I could go here. But anyway, as I was saying, like, maybe because he has the motions, he, he, he has... He has some sense to him, but that doesn't make sense, because then he would think, well, I don't want to blow up my brothers. So, whatever. I'm on the Egg Carrier. It's game show music! To the hot shelter we go! Okay, we gotta go find the hot shelter. I believe I can just take this elevator to go up like so. And then go inside... Wait, wait, wait. Maybe... I, I always, always get lost in the egg carrier. And that's even more than the other adventure fields. Ugh. Wait, where am I? Wait, can I zoom out from here? Yeah, that's, that's a pretty nice view. I forgot to demonstrate that before. When you stand on the center there, you can zoom out the whole thing. Okay. So, I remember I could get to the hot shelter before with Amy by writing this thing down. Let's see if I can do that again. You know, just by taking that door. No, I can't. What the? Did you just see that? The, the hatch didn't open, but it's still registered as me going inside the egg carrier. What's this got to say? Okay, I am in the right place. So, it's in this middle door. Woo! Stage 5, Hot Shelter. Bring it on. Destroy E-105. You can't move at all, by the way. And let's shoot some things. I like shooting things. Never give PK Gamma gun people. Oh, I should have hovered over there because I could have gotten inside a little hole, but that's okay. And yeah, this is the same place that Amy goes to, um, but it's slightly different because of uh, um, how fast the gears move. Oh, I don't think so. And there's a lot, there's less platforms and stuff like that. Um, more holes. Uh, whatever you want to, well, I can actually get up right here. Well, that's nice. A lot faster than the gears. So it's, it's so it's the same area as Amy's, but it's designed a lot differently. I mean, you're going through the same places, but it still has a way different feel. And let me flop on this button here and ride it all along back to the door. Yeehaw! Oh yeah, we're platform riding. Not quite as exciting as bull riding, but it, it does its job. So, let's just blow up these boxes all at once and use the boost to get through. Yes, that was a Star Fox reference. I don't know why I did that, because I don't even, I don't even like the series that much, but I find the quotes in the game funny. You know, because of all the, uh, uh, all the videos on them, I guess. 
So, bubble! Woo! High Speed Cardinal Station! Let me go across here, thank you very much. And yes, you do have to hover to get across here and continue on through this area. Button! Let me press the button. Yay! Oh wait, let me get grab. There we go. I was supposed to stand on there. I forgot about the claw. Yay! I am an official robot. I am being hoisted by a claw and not being hurt. So, uh, wait, I'm supposed to press that button and stand over there. Okay. So, stand there and press the button. And, yeah, I just lasered the button off camera there in case you didn't know that. Yeah, I locked onto the button. And now a little cutscene will happen. And now we're going into the train station area, and this is where things get a bit tricky. If you fall, you die, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, it certainly would make a lot of sense, but I haven't played the stage in a while, but I do, uh, but I do remember that it's kind of tricky because of the, the jumps that you have at some points. And let me get... What am I... Oh my god, I got stuck on the middle of that uh, spike ball swinging thing. That was so odd. And can I get over to... Ah! Okay, you don't die when you when you uh, touch that thing in the center, or when you fall off, so that ah, works for me. You, you monkey, you gotta go. You really gotta go. Whoop the crate, checkpoint for the win! Die, monkeys, die! You die too, crates. I don't support crates in this world. Bounce on the spring for the win! And go across the tops of the trains. This is high speed action here. And go kill the monkeys. Get time. I get seconds on the timer. I'm I'm lacking the kill things, by the way. I keep forgetting to. Oh, I pressed the button, by the way. I forgot to mention that ends the train ride. And uh, going ah checkpoint. And jump over the spike ball to blow up more crates. Woo! Yeah, you fall down the hole there underneath the crates. And falling all the way down to the bottom, there was some awesome one-ups there. Whoa, getting blown up all over the place. Kill the monkeys! Kill the monkeys, they'll get in your way! And hit the boost. Oh, poopers! I, I completely missed the ramp there somehow. I should say missed going up the ramp straight. Let's try this again. Woo! There we go. Checkpoint, and let's go fight the boss! E-105... Something. I don't know the symbols. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so I'll just call it E105. Just keep shooting, or I should say keep locking onto it with the laser. Um, you got to also watch out for the uh, missiles that are going around here all over the place. But you have to lock onto it a bunch of different places. Like, there we go. That was the last hit, and it's already done. See all those things that I blew up around his uh, body there, like around that first tier? between the first and second tier of his body. Yeah, you have to lock onto those things. That's why I went around him in a circle like that. E105 I'm honestly surprised I took a hit on him because I don't usually take hits on the E102 bosses just because of how easy it is to lock onto their stuff and, you know, block their attacks. But, yeah, that takes care of him. And 47 emblems, that which means absolutely nothing to me in this walkthrough. <laughs> And we're going to the egg carrier, and I I think that about does it for this part. So I'll see you guys in the next part, where we continue on and possibly finish E102 Gamma Story. See you then!